Um, you know, Aaron and Brad Kulis, they live right across the border in Rhode Island, but they've been kayaking the waters off the Cape for years, and they say they have never encountered a great white in waist-deep water like this. The picture that I took was when I waded in a little bit and took Oh, you picture. waded in? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Aaron Coolis was standing on Race Point Beach. Husband Brad and his friends had just hit the surf to kayak. It was Sunday at noon when the Labor Day crowd suddenly broke into a chorus of warning. We're like, shark, yelling at them, and they're like, oh, where's it going? It was going back and forth, parallel to the shoreline and the kayakers. Brad shouted a heads up to a friend. He didn't even notice, but when I looked over, there was a fin probably two feet from him. And um, I remember saying, Don, is that a shark? And I think he looked up and got all confused and startled <laughs> at the same time, you know, and, and quickly backed out. The Rhode Island couple has been kayaking and fishing off the Cape for years. They've crossed paths with all sorts of ocean life, but never have they seen a great white hugging the beach so closely for so long. It was likely because there were seals like these on a nearby sandbar. But that doesn't mean the Coolises don't consider themselves lucky just the same. You have this animal that's what, um, oh, probably over 13 feet long, and it's in three feet of water, and it was absolutely stealthy. It was silent. You couldn't hear it. Mm -hmm. and, and only when the fin came up did you see it. Now, all of those kayakers and swimmers did make it back to the beach safely, and then they all stood there for another 15 minutes and watched that shark pace the shoreline. We're live in Swansea tonight. I'm Mary Salad, WCDB News Center 5.